Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Tank. A West Terre Haute police officer is out of a job tonight. This after the city council voted to end the employment of Officer Jonathan Stevens Sr. Taylor Williams attended the public meeting tonight and has the details. Taylor. Mike, in my hand are two forms. One is the Indiana State Coat Code, which basically says that the council has the ability to fire a city officer if that officer is convicted of a crime. Also in my hands is a lawsuit filed by Stevens, who has accused the city, of, city officials of being racist. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? By a two to one vote, the West Terre Haute City Council found Stevens guilty of conduct unbecoming of an officer and voted to terminate his employment. Indiana Code specifically provides that an officer uh, of a town, a law enforcement officer, can be uh, disciplined, including dismissal, for the conviction of a crime. Officer Stevens does not agree with council's decision, and he says the council and the police department are racist. I'm here to set a precedent that racism and bullying these people for jobs is not going to stand for us. This is not the 1950s anymore, so I'm not going to turn around and run. I have family members. That, may, that, are, that are of different races that may want a job here too. And if I just turn around and run, I make no stance for it. And I will make a stance for it. Back in October of 2017, Stevens was arrested in a domestic dispute in his home while off duty. Recently, Stevens pleaded guilty to an amend charge of disorderly conduct, a Class B misdemeanor. His original charge of domestic battery in the presence of a child was a felony. That charge was dismissed with the plea agreement, and Stevens was sentenced to six days in jail and 174 days on informal probation. Since the news broke, citizens voiced their concerns and outrage over the possibility of Stevens' return. One Facebook comment read, He shouldn't get his job back. Others defending the officer saying, I know him personally, and he's never beat his wife. Don't believe everything you hear. At Monday night's meeting, emotions boiled as residents were upset that they could not speak out about Stevens and the council. West Terre Haute Police Chief Bill Bark declined to go on camera, but he says that the department takes character and background checks on their officers. Officer Stephen has until next Monday to request a hearing to appeal the council's decision. Proof would have to be shown that, w that he was convicted of a crime. I asked Stevens if he should be held accountable for his crimes, but he declined to comment. All right, thank you, Taylor, for that report. This is the second officer fired from West Terre Haute in the past three years. The appeal process for former officer Sergeant Christopher Froschauer took more than a year, and he was ultimately terminated.